Okay, I wanted to show you a few things on this distributor since I had it out. Uh, this uh, HEI is pretty much the standard for the General Motors cars, so they're all pretty much straightforward. Anyway, here it is. Um, here's the old Reluctor. Got that out. Uh, we're going to be testing that in a little while. And the new Reluctor is, well, pickup coil is in there. You can see it's also the control module that I replaced the other day. And let me see if I can get a shot of this. That's me drawing a vacuum on that vacuum advance. You can just see that thing moving ever so slightly. So some of the things I had to do to get this out is, of course, pull the distributor. And there's a, a roll pin right in there. That had to drive out with a pin punch, and then the gear comes off, and then you pull the shaft straight out. It's a little bit tough to get out. You have to wiggle it back and forth because combustion gases will get on that shaft, and it has to be worked past that uh, that bearing. Um, so sometimes you can lube that up, and it'll help. But the other thing that needed to be done was this centrifugal advance had to come off. That comes off with the shaft when it comes out. But below that is a C-clip that holds this plate in. This holds this, this unit in. And it rides right along the top there. So this would come out in different sections. You take the screws out. And then a magnet going on there. And this is the actual coil. Get that out. I don't know what's going on there. Doesn't look too good, but maybe that's normal. Don't really see anything wrong with the wires, but we're going to do a continuity check, and we're also going to just change the one piece and see if that makes a difference. So they've got these screws offset, so you can't mix them up when you put them back on. Otherwise, they won't screw down. So that's pretty much it. We're going to put the distributor back in there and go ahead and... See if that makes a difference.